welcome to the better half. Can you believe it, ladies? We are more than halfway through this season. Yeah, it's I can't crazy. believe it. It just <laughs> flew by, didn't yeah. it? Oh it always goodness. does. Yeah. We have a fun show planned for you today. We're making meatball appetizers, mm. perfect for game day mm -hmm. or for your holiday parties. One of the meatballs is in the shape of a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a recipe from Tim Mastey's wife, Amanda. She's making a family favorite using her crock pot, so that should be easy and delicious. I love crock pot. I hope her daughter's helping. I hope so too. <laughs> her daughter is the funniest thing on TV. Yes. Uh, it's a green and gold Friday. The Packers Pro Shop will be here with ideas on what to wear to work on Fridays before Packer home games. Hashtag GG Friday <laughs> on social media if you want to partake in all the fun. Cool. But you know, you can just take something like a infinity scarf right. and infinity add it scars. to your business spice attire and spice it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have some great ideas. And uh, well, let me introduce you to everyone, although I think you know who they are by now. <laughs> Evan Daniels, wife of Mike Daniels. Uh, Rosie Sierra, a uh, longtime girlfriend and the better half of Andrew Porlis, and Alyssa Janice, newlywed, yeah. married to Jeff Janice. So, do you guys have plans for the big home game? I mean, finally, they're back home. My best friend's coming in town of like 10 years. So, she's coming in town. So, we're going to go to the game, cook, and just kind of do tailgating. I never had a friend here for the home game, so she's going to be here with me. That'll this will be, be the first time? Awesome. We're gonna what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? I'm going to tailgate. I'm going to just walk up to random people. <laughs> How you doing? That's the best way to do it. That is. And if you wear your jersey that yes. says the better half? Yeah, I told, oh, and we're sure. going to get her a jersey, too. Okay. So we're going to go to Pro Shop. We're going to do the whole experience. Yeah. All right. Might do That'll a tour with her. We'll see. Uh, my sister's coming in town. Her birthday just passed, and so she's actually expecting me to put on a full girls' weekend for her. I'm like, hello. Oh, like, you have a game day to plan for. Exactly. And but a girls' apparently weekend. Apparently, we're doing girls' night and probably like dinner and all that stuff, and then we'll go to the game, obviously, and have a good time. Oh, okay. give me a call. You I, always I, have I family in town. We do. I'm really excited, though. I, I love having family. I love having people. And then when they like leave, it's like, oh, breath of fresh air. But when they're mm -hmm. here, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. All she right. makes funny yeah. videos. Well, so <laughs> the game is against Detroit, and we are from Michigan, so we have. A bucket of people coming. <laughs> <laughs> How we many? Do, there's a, oh, I'd say there's probably 12 total, but only two of them are staying with us, and that's two of my best friends. And they've never been here. They've never seen where I live now and stuff like that, so I'm really looking forward to showing them around. Are Which they is, Packers fans? Well, they, they are now. They will be. They, they are now. will be yes. on game day. I said yes. if you're wearing any blue, it can be like blue jeans, but that, that's, that's it. it. No, when my, when <laughs> we, my friend's from New York. When we're playing the Giants, she knows she has to wear her green and gold. She gets a lot of backlash, but no, you can't. You have to be a fan for the Packers. Right. Do you have your outfit planned out? No. I always watch I your social like media to see what's having going to wear. I do have wear. something new that I got made, and I've got Ooh. a new sparkly jersey, so I'm kind of torn between what I'm going to wear, but I'll, I'll decide by Well, we Friday. have more games left, Heaven. I know, but <laughs> I you know, know, I just planned it out for accordingly. Thanksgiving. I don't know yet. Right. Something and you sparkly. sit outside, right? Always. I always sit outside. The weather's outside. supposed to be semi um, yes. okay. Actually, pretty decent. Yeah, I think yes. it's a sitting outside. You kind of feel like you're with them, and they kind of do look up, and if they see you, because they kind of know where you're sitting, I think it motivates them and just gives it a good bond. I think it's still a bonding moment. Yeah, and it's then you're right energy. in the heart of the fans, Yeah, like too. when people are high-fiving you that you don't know, it's like, <laughs> woo, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, We're oh, all friends fun. at Lambeau exactly. Field, it's right? It's so true. Yeah. I love it. Okay, well, I hope you all have a great time. Can't wait to hear about it and see what, you're, what you picked to wear. Yes. That, <laughs> yes. Um, but they also have an exciting trip coming up that they want to let you know yeah. about. They're <laughs> heading to Las Vegas, <laughs> right? <laughs> What's happening? Tell us about this. We're doing some dinner, some spa time, uh, really just hanging out and having fun, like mm -hmm. girl, legit girl time. Mm -hmm. uh, Much I mean, needed. Girl yeah. Time. yeah. So this <laughs> is the Quick Trip Vegas contest. Mm -hmm. yes. And if you're listening to this, watching at home, and you want to go with the ladies to Vegas, all you have to do to enter is to text HALF to 77887. And you're entered to win. It's that easy. So the winner and a guest will fly from Milwaukee to Las Vegas. Quick, quick Trip will be giving the winner a $50 gas card to help them get to Milwaukee. So that's mm -hmm. nice. Right. It's February 18th to the 21st. And it's a three-night stay. Wow, at the fabulous MGM. So you guys right. know where you're staying. Yep. There's a picture of it. And you, what? You get to go to the spa? Yeah, we get to relax. It's like, gonna be. I might not awesome. pack. I might just shop when I get there. <laughs> right. Yeah, I always pack. Although we should just... plan a shopping trip before that. Yeah, yeah we, we should. Stay tuned for that as well. Yeah. But, <laughs> the, but the shopping there is good yeah, too. Yeah, totally. right? it is. You might have to get an empty suitcase on the way back. That's, I'm Ooh. telling you, I buy one from Walmart. It's like one of the ones you fold up. Mm -hmm. it, it zips up, and then when you unzip it, it turns into this long bag. So you I just buy one of those That's and pop it in there. one of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you do any gambling when you're there? I, I like the casinos. I like the, I'm so bad. I'm not like a casino girl, but I like the thing that spins. 
Eat the ball, you know, you yeah. gotta, so just go you watch. Gotta, <laughs> you gotta put the chips on either red or black. I don't know what it's called. Drew says I'm bad at this. And then I like the, the traditional Clearly. I like the traditional thing where you put the coin in and yep. you go ding ding. Just, slot machine. just watch yeah. for the girl walking around. <laughs> yeah. All the spinning Enjoying things. the lights. That's what I'm yeah. looking for. Are you with a about drink the in my wheel? Hand. Oh yeah, the roulette. <laughs> Yeah, that's what And then she's like, the thing with the coin, the slot machine. Yeah, the yeah. slot machine. All right, that's where you will find Rosie. So yeah. um, maybe she's better at games at home. Family game night. You guys yes. have talked about this before, yes. that you do it family game night. I'm What's your favorite you. game? Our favorite game is Monopoly, and there's no friendship there. I'm telling you. I could be struggling on property, and Drew would take my property with no, I say, okay, when this game is over, Lot. What's the longest yeah. your Monopoly game has lasted? Because yeah. I okay, so we never yes. ends. We 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 played from I think it was ten o'clock and all the way till like five in the morning. And some people were like, "Here, you could buy me out. <laughs> Cash I mean, me it out. can last yeah, that long. Days. That game. You get serious. Game. I'm telling you, when you have all the when you're really putting your mind in it and you're in the game, the mm -hmm. property is like a real investment. You start thinking like a realtor. You like. I'm gonna buy this. Or I'm gonna, you know, yeah. take this from you, and I don't know. It's just it's fun. Yeah. You're next, to Alyssa. What's your game? Well, <laughs> we like to play board games, kind of, and we like Clue a lot. But you need to have the old version. The modern day version is real confusing. It is. They yeah. add all this stuff to it, and I can't handle it's it. Too much. So we like the old version. So it's, it's just a classic. Yes, the classic, the classic version. Yes. I didn't know you could get that. Mm -hmm. And the board is just like the old version. Oh, it's great. It is. <laughs> but we just like a game that doesn't take like too long, but, but that yeah, takes just, long just, enough. Yeah. Just like yeah. Monopoly. Now they digitize it, so we just get the old school limited edition. Yeah. yeah very good. Cool. And Simple. you have a favorite game. Or, I have one of a your couple. Favorites? So Phase Ten Uno. Connect Four, and then we have Head <laughs> This is such an awesome game. Like, my family is really big. They'll all be here for Thanksgiving. So we like to <laughs> compete. So this is a game of teams. You get the words on your headband. You don't know what they are. Your team is acting mm -hmm. it out. Obviously, you have to guess what it is. So to me, that is... Hilarious. It's hilarious. Yes. This is Ellen DeGeneres' version of it, Heads Up. And I have the app for this. Do, do, yes. yes. Don't you, have you played that? The app is actually a little more fun, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> yeah, yeah. because it actually records you as you're holding your phone silly on oh, top yeah. of your head. You have a video every single round after, and it's hilarious. To watch. Yep. And the kids yeah. can play along. It's mm -hmm. super fun. So, mm -hmm. all right, family game night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and now you know. Uh, now we're going to switch gears a little bit and talk about our Facebook page. Are you on it yet? Have you liked it? If not, please check it out. We share recipes, and we love hearing, hearing from you, the viewers. Go to Facebook.com forward slash BetterHalfGB or tweet us at BetterHalfGB. We are giving you a chance to join us on the set here in the studio, during the show, and if you think you would like to join us, you have to post pictures of you wearing green and gold better than anybody else. Do you and your friends go all out on Packer game day? We'll be the judge of that. Share your pictures of you in your best green and gold attire or, or your family pet in green and gold, because we love those pictures love too. <laughs> Use the hashtag Better Half GB, and a lucky winner and a guest will be chosen each week to watch the better half from behind the scenes and take photos with your favorite host. So just go to Facebook and Twitter and, and send us your photos. Here's the winning picture from this week. Congratulations to Carol. Congratulations. It looks like they put out quite a spread. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. I'm looking at yeah. the food. <laughs> I need to hang out with her more yes. often. I actually know Carol personally. And she's, oh, you do? she's an excellent cook. She's fabulous. She lives in Appleton. Were you a judge or didn't? I, I didn't even know. So that's awesome. Congrats to Carol. And that's her husband, Todd, on the far left end. So awesome. Shout out to them. Yay. <laughs> they're the ultimate fans, I guess. Yes, they're great. All right. Well, it's time to eat, ladies, after Let's looking at all that food. Coming up next, we're heading into the kitchen to make some meatballs. Oh, this one is breakfast inspired. Mm. The better half will be right back. Well, here's a great way to start your day. Meatballs. Yep, Andy Horkin <laughs> from the Wisconsin Beef Council has a fabulous meatball recipe. And what do you call them? Mojo Morning Meatballs. <laughs> well, welcome Which, to the Better Half, Angie. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Yes, we're excited. Yeah. Mojo Morning Meatballs. Right. Well, okay, so I'm with the Wisconsin Beef Council, and we've been trying to think of ways to, to get more beef into breakfast because beef is one of the best foods to provide protein and high quality protein that's mm -hmm. easy for the body to absorb and if you you know consume protein at breakfast you're going to feel full and satisfied through lunch so if you're working out if you're watching your figure or even trying yep. to mm -hmm. shed weight you want to eat a lot of protein right. instead of all the sugary stuff that's exactly readily right. available yes. 
And also, it's got to be easy, right? It has to be. <laughs> when, you know, us moms with kids, in the mornings, it's crazy. Hello, we're getting ready for that. school. We're getting ready for work. So it's not like we can make an elaborate, healthy right. breakfast mm -hmm. every day. So these, you can make ahead, pop them in the refrigerator, keep them in there four to five days, pull out three, two to three, whatever the kids want or you want, have before work, um, or freeze them okay. and pull them out and defrost them. Um, and they're kind of different. You have to yeah, have them in mind. Just wait till you hear what's really in it. Why don't we make them and tell okay. people the ingredients? So Heaven's going to start with pancakes. Okay. So uh, I have planned over pancakes. So if you're making pancakes, like on the weekend, save three make to some four extra? of them. Make some extra, okay. right? And um, I'm using blueberry pancakes. Yummy. And mine aren't even homemade. No? Not, no. Oh. They're not from scratch. They're the nice box mix, but okay. they're super go. good. Saves time. Yep. Exactly. So um, I saved four of those and we're just chunking them up into little bits and we're going to add those to a pound of lean ground beef. Now, <clears throat> how lean do you like your meat to be for this? Well, this recipe, I really like using ground round or ground sirloin. A lot of times you can buy ground beef, ground chuck, and um, substitute that in for real lean ground beef because you'll have that chance to drain the fat mm -hmm. off okay. of it. But this recipe you don't and these meatballs stay really better together when you use the, the ground round or the ground sirloin. Okay. So I would splurge on that. So one pound of that, and then the four pancakes. You are good, Heaven. I'm Something I'm best. good at in the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. Pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to add one egg. This recipe has five ingredients. Oh, we need eggs. Yep. So we, we got eggs. Egg. Yeah. All right. Got to make some quick trip. Oh, oh. You can do it. No, no shells. No shells. Oh, there's a piece. <laughs> I could have done better than that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then one package of bacon pieces. They Yummy. weren't bacon Ooh. bits, but they were the real, <coughs> excuse pieces. me, bacon pieces. About a three ounce package. This is going to have people sold already with bacon, bacon and pancakes. Mm -hmm. like. <laughs> and then um, maple syrup or pancake syrup. So you have Whatever your pancakes you have home, and your syrup cup. and your bacon all in all one bowl. in there. Right. That's awesome. Now, I mean, the flavor is kind of, it's going to be sweet with the pancakes and okay. the syrup, but then with the ground beef in there, well, ground sweet beef savory. almost tastes like a sausage. So That's you just okay. want to incorporate this. My kids are huge fans of the breakfast uh, sticks or like a pancake and a sausage together, so this oh, will be yeah. a fun way to switch it up for them, and they do really like pancakes also. Are they adventurous? Will they give it a try when they see I, it's a meatball? I think so. If I explain to them that it has the things they like in it, I think they will try it. Now this, you know, three meatballs is one serving. It. So for per serving is six grams of fat, and only two of those are saturated with oh, the, the ground round. It's very healthy. Okay, so at home, I would have the kids help. You know, I would wash yeah. up, roll up their sleeves, mix it all together. And then I like doing these just in a mini muffin pan. Does that um, just help to keep them neater? Or yeah. Or kind of contain the shape? Just, and then I kind of do that. And then uh, it says it makes 24, but it makes more than that because I've made it twice, and it'll make up to 30. So... It makes a lot. Or if you're having now, this has me like brunch. thinking. I mean, I know we're doing breakfast, but almost like for a Thanksgiving thing, if it was like stuffing or something. Oh yeah, in a, great idea. Yeah, a type of meat and cornbread. So bread. do all that. That's a good idea. And then we have some done in the oven. I'm gonna okay. wash my hands. If you guys want to grab those. Oh, you want me to get them out of the oven? Get them out of the oven. Okay. They are done. I can do that. You never know how people use these fancy tools. You know, and if you're <laughs> having family over and you don't want to make breakfast the next day, you have these ready to go. Ooh, That's perfect. That smell good. Right. And yummy. Then they look good. Some fresh fruit on the side, some Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt's going to add six more grams of protein, and so you're up to. So, 30, very simple, but you've got a good, healthy, nutritious breakfast. Good, healthy, nutritious All breakfast. Right. You could yes, dip in maple you. syrup if you like. Yeah, we're dippers at my house. We probably will smother you them, dip? actually. Yeah, I would dip. Absolutely. I'm still dipping from the yeah, you're set. Um And where can we get some other recipes for our beef? website is beeftips.com, and these recipes you can link to okay. right on the homepage on As Seen on TV. Otherwise, um, we've got hundreds and hundreds of beef recipes. So it's steaks, hot, roast, roast. Hot. Mm. like temperature-wise hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah, we but it's good though, right? Good. I didn't mention <laughs> it. We bake you bake these in a 375-degree oven, oh, about mm -hmm. 18 to 22 minutes. That's good. Thank okay, you. and what I find interesting is the blueberry did not get lost. You can actually taste the blueberry I can't pancake taste the blueberry. in there. But it's a good and it works. It does work. It really does. Angie, thanks so much. What are you making next time? Meatball sub cupcakes. Ooh. We cannot <laughs> wait for those. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to finish this during the break.
Coming up, how about some green and gold fashions for your Friday? New stuff, Christmas ideas, and what to wear to work. That's next on The Better Half. It's a green and gold Friday, and Deb Kuhn is here from the Packer Pro Shop. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us again. Um, let's talk a little bit about this green and gold Friday. We're encouraging people to wear green and gold to work. Right. Well, you know, as everyone knows, we have the greatest fans in football. So. Yes, we yeah. sure do. <laughs> so, you know, we're just encouraging them to show their pride, wear green and gold on Friday, which many of them do, but um, then they can uh, take pictures and send their pictures and, uh, you know, win prizes, get up on the Definitely. Jumbotron, all, all, all sorts of fun things. Hashtag GG Friday mm -hmm. if you want to get involved in that. Oh, I was just going to say, you might as well, if you're wearing green and gold, you might as well submit it anyways and see yeah, if you win. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, why not? Why not? it's super fun. It's super and I mean, fun. you can go pretty uh, formal too. I mean, you can wear mm -hmm. a scarf, like this. lots mm -hmm. of sweaters, and button down shirts that you can wear into the workplace. Exactly. Yeah, just like that sweater. I think that'd be yeah. cute with like some pants. You can wear khakis mm -hmm. if and you nice boots. are required to wear, you know, mm -hmm. pants. Yeah. This is called our eyelash sweater, super soft. Oh, that's why. That makes sense. It is very fuzzy. Okay. I can I like see that. that at a game with some hot chocolate. She just went right from the workplace to game. <laughs> Let's talk about these sweaters in the middle. Are these new? These are all new. Um, the, the whole Christmas ugly sweater thing yes. has caught on like you wouldn't believe. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have families come in. They buy the whole thing. They buy them for, <laughs> for their know, photos, photos, photos yeah. uh, but also you know, this is also well, you could should. wear them to the workplace and have a lot of fun. Yeah, at the yeah. workplace. Place. They should have like a, probably an ugly sweater contest. And a lot of them do. Andrew, yep. um, Andrew, like the tight ends, they do it like every year. They yeah. do like an ugly yes. sweater yes. photo. And it's really, it captures the moment. It's memories and it's fun. It's very fun. Is it for all members of the family? I think <laughs> Jeff's going to wear this one yep. for our Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh -huh. yeah. Jeff is like a it. lucky guy. The Perfect. title print is in too. That's actually very yes. fashionable. Yeah. Oh, of course. It, comes it is. Fashion it's very though, fashionable. Yeah. It ties awesome. in lots of trends. Lots it is. Of trends. Now, the upcoming game on Sunday is going to be in tribute to our veterans, and you right. have items for that too. Yeah, I bought a, brought yeah. a couple ladies' Cute pieces, hat. the hoodie. The T-shirt and the hat, and we yeah, have a selection cool. of men's pieces. Yeah, it has the American flag on the sleeve too. Yeah. That's really yeah. nice touch. Yeah. So. I always love when they have those games, and you can kind of go get some signature pieces to wear with your mm -hmm. outfits. That's exactly. The popping fun and new. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, then it's Christmas time. Christmas <laughs> shopping season is here, and Rosie's already doing some shopping. <laughs> she sure it's is. It's not too early oh, to be cute. thinking it's about adorable. it. No, Christmas music is on the radio. You You're good, it. Rosie. You're cute elf, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> I just need those ears. Yeah, that's all you need. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Those big ears. Yeah. And everyone that's walked by the table so far says they want this. Yes. The one so oh, soft. I like that the feet is covered. Sometimes it's not. For me, I just like the whole thing covered mm -hmm. and it's so, cute. We have a whole it, it, range. It lets you yeah. relive being Pull a kid up. kind of. It's there like you go. And to I be love an adult when it has like experience. the ridges on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's comfortable. Yep. How popular yeah. is this, Deb? Nice and it's, cozy. It's flying. So uh, <laughs> we, we have this, and we have another version coming in that's going to be more Ooh. in the feeling of the ugly sweater. Oh. So are you giving us a little inside information? Yeah, that should Exclusive. be hitting any You heard it here first. <laughs> right. so. Oh, you can go get this one now. Yes. Oh, yes. We know when the other one's coming. How about the little elf up there? Now, this a lot is of people cute. do the elf on the shelf tradition. Elf. Yeah, just a little the elf on the shelf. Where so they yes. have those. places. Mm -hmm. exactly. Make them do different things. Rachel, do you do that in your house? Oh, no, no. We don't have that choice in my house. <laughs> no, well, but he's darling, and I love that he comes all dressed in green yes, and gold. My exactly. said something about it, so I said, okay, we'll do it this year. So now i got to figure out where to find a whole bunch of these. So we have, now I know where to go. Now yep. you know. Yep. The one in the closet. And, yeah. and then this is a well, piggy bank bank sweater a for yes, your piggy bank. Goes Look, you can see the piggy bank sweater. That, that is sweater perfect. Thing, so. You and know, it comes off. Right? Yeah, it comes off. It comes off. Can That's change. cute. Well, they it's all mixed. Yes, everything. <laughs> I love it. I love it all. <laughs> and as Rosie said, she wants to buy it all. And where should she go to buy it all? Uh, Packers Pro Shop. We're yes. open seven days a week. And Not where hard do you to find miss. it? Say so we're familiar. At the, <laughs> at, the, at, at the Packers Pro Shop. <laughs> yes. Lambeau Field Atrium. Oh, yes. yep, right there in the right in Green Bay. You can't Absolutely. miss it. And yep. it's a. If you haven't been to the Pro Shop in the last year, check it out. It is big and beautiful. And Leap on over there. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Deb. You're welcome. Love it. Uh, coming up, we're heading back to the Mastay's house. Amanda is going to share a recipe. It's a family favorite in a crock pot. That's next on The Better Half. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to The Better Half. Do you love Thanksgiving? I do. Yes. I love the sides. <laughs> What's your favorite side? Uh, sweet potato and mac and cheese. Yeah, I love oh, collard greens. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I love it all. So, you know, we're, we're going to be doing a lot of eating this month, so we kind of want to stay healthy, don't mm -hmm. you think, in the other weeks? 
that we're not Yes, eating. I kind of want to eat healthy so that way when Thanksgiving comes, I won't feel bad. It'd be like my cheat day. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well, Amanda Maste has a great recipe. It's a healthy right. crock pot chicken, and she shares the recipe from her home. Mm. Hi, guys. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, today I'm going to make, it's kind of a mouthful, but it's apple barbecue chicken, um, and it is so good. It's one of the things that I have made for my in-laws when they've come in to visit and for any time that we've got people that are coming over. I feel like if you've got, if you're, if you've got anything going on at all, this is super easy to do. Um, so if you've got little kids or if you work, so which that's pretty much everybody, um, this is super easy and it's super good and it makes your house smell great. Um, since it's a crock pot recipe. So this is something that I do, especially during the season because time is of the essence. So um, it's just, just a couple quick ingredients and then it's super easy to put together. So first you're just gonna need, um, depending on how many people you do, um, basically a chicken breast for everybody or if you've got um, somebody that's really hungry, you can do a little bit more. But um, I like to just have a chicken breast for everybody that's coming over. So actually tonight we've got some friends that are coming over for dinner and this is what they're gonna be eating. Um, so there's four of us coming over, so we've got four chicken breasts. And you don't have to worry if they haven't thawed totally, if you had frozen chicken breasts, it's totally fine because this works really great if you're pulling it out of the freezer too. So you just have to cook it for a little bit longer. Um, okay, so the first thing that you want to do is just wrap your chicken in, I like to use turkey bacon, you can use regular bacon, um, any kind that you like, but just to cut down on a little bit of fat, I like to use turkey bacon. And I'd say probably like three to four um, slices per piece of chicken. And if you find that your um, bacon sort of falls off, this is pretty, it kind of sticks pretty well, but you could always toothpick it if um, the bacon's kind of unraveling. But just wrap them up like that, kind of make it look like a little mummy. That's what my daughter, she thinks that it's funny because they look like little mummies. Do, do, do. Okay, so then once we've got all of our chicken sort of wrapped up, again, you can toothpick it if they start to fall apart, but these are doing really well. Um, you want to just go ahead and kind of nestle those down in your crock pot. They can sit on top of each other, and it's not going to hurt anything. Um, so, like, yeah, this little guy is probably just going to go right on top there. Um, so, yeah, once they're all in there, then we just sort of dump in everything else, which is nice. Um, the first thing that we're going to put in is applesauce. You can do sweetened or unsweetened, um, and then... It really doesn't make too much of a difference, so you can sort of use whatever you have on hand. I know the first time that I made it, the only kind of applesauce that we had was Minion applesauce because my daughter insisted that we have that at the store. So um, that it doesn't really matter what it is. It can be like the kid's version or anything like that, and it's going to work just fine. Um, okay, so you just need three quarters of a cup of that. So I've got my half here, so I'll just sort of guesstimate. This is taking me back to high school fractions a little bit. So just sort of sprinkle that on top of everything. Um, try to cover as much as you can. Okay, that gives it a really, really good flavor. I love that stuff. Um, and then what? next thing that we want is some barbecue sauce. I forgot that in the fridge. This is my favorite kind of barbecue sauce. I, I always pick this up at Woodman's. I'm sure that they have it other places, but I really like it. It's not too sweet. Um, and it's, it's just got a really good flavor. But definitely use the original stuff. You don't want to get any of the, like, mesquite things or any of the weird flavors. Um, the original flavor works the best. So you're going to want to put in about half a cup of that. But we're barbecue people at my house, so I always end up putting a little bit extra. And it sort of depends on how many chicken breasts you have, too. If you're only doing two, then you obviously don't need this quite as, as much. That should be good. Okay, and then the next thing that we want to do is a little bit of lemon juice. You just need about a tablespoon. Okay. All righty. And then a teaspoon of salt and then a half a teaspoon of pepper. So I end up just sort of guessing on that too. It's sort of, this is just more to add flavor to things. And, and a little bit of pepper. And then the recipe doesn't really call for this, but I like to just add a couple of um, slices of apple. I think that it just, it makes it look a little prettier, and it adds another kind of different flavor to it, too. So um, I peeled these up for something else for a dessert that I was making, and um, so I just kind of add those on top, and it makes it look really nice. All right, and then that's it. That's all that you need. So um, you, then you just put the lid on and bake um, in the crock pot for like six to eight hours on low. Okay, and then this is your finished product. Um, 
If you like a little bit crispier bacon too, you can um, put the chicken without the apples on there. You can put the chicken in the oven on broil for like three to five minutes if you want to crisp up your bacon a little bit. But I kind of like it like this and it's delicious. That's what we're going to be eating tonight. Thanks, Amanda, and I was so glad Emery made an appearance yes. on there. Even when she's not saying anything, she's darling. So thanks, Amanda, for that recipe. If you're looking to eat even healthier than that, and maybe you even need someone to help guide you in your weight loss goals, Leslie Service and Amber Bomber are here with Bell in Health to talk about a program that will help you get on the right track. Hello, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks, thanks for having me. Leslie and Amber. Mm -hmm. Leslie is a personal trainer. Yes. Amber is a registered dietitian. Yes. And you're talking about this program called HMR. What is it and how does it work? HMR is Health Management Resources. They are a meal replacement program, the number one medically supervised program in the country. They've been around for over 30 years, so we help people lose weight through the use of meal replacements. And then with both of our expertise, help guide them to manage it long term. All right, so if, if this, good. does it matter what your goals are? We work with anyone that wants to lose 10 pounds to over 200 pounds. So are they specific so. to each person or, or is it like a general? It's a general plan, but with our coaching, we make their goals um, specific okay, for them. Good. Yeah. So, okay. so what's different than us going into the grocery store and buying the meals and making the shakes? You're guiding us through all this, Correct. is that right? Yes. And then do we meet with you periodically through the program? We have weekly classes where you'll come and get support from everyone else in the class, but then work with us as well. So you get tips and strategies during the class, and that accountability is also important. So I'm okay. guessing so. the ingredients in these are kind of better than, healthier than in the grocery store? Correct, okay. yes. That's yep. good. Mm -hmm. Well, can we try some? Yeah, absolutely. What do we have here? Because are they tasty? I mean, when you get stuff out of a box, it's not always the tastiest. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. So what did you prepare for us today? What we have here today are baked potatoes and then turkey chili. It's one of our most popular entrees, which is kind of good. And we also thought it would tie into the whole tailgating theme. Oh, sure. So, we did so that you could do well. this at a tailgate, yes, is what you're you saying? Yes, you could, with the fruit as well. So okay. we figured everything would be a lot healthier than probably what we normally have. So are there no cheat days on this program? There aren't cheat days. There are no cheat I days. Know, I'm you're, sorry. you're serious. When you're on this, people come to you yeah. because they are serious. Right. Yes. Does it, um, what, sodium and sugars in there, are they monitored pretty well? Absolutely, they are really well controlled. Your sodium in the entrees, because again, packaged food, you might think it's high, it's very low compared to other packaged, like meal replacements. Um, and if you follow the program completely, your sodium intake is going to be below or at the recommendation. Okay, and while she's plating this up, can you explain the shakes and how they work and why yeah. they're so good? So we have the shakes that are lower calorie, um, high protein. You're getting about 14 grams of protein per shake. Mm -hmm. um, they're a great option for a breakfast right away in the morning to get your day started or for a snack later in the day. Um, so if you like, I can make one yeah, for you. Yeah, sure. So I use We like shakes. Yes. So you you even if they're healthy, right? <laughs> That's yeah. right, and they taste good. Um, so we have eight ounces of water. It's going to dump in one of our shake packets. That is one serving. Is okay. vanilla? This is vanilla. Okay. How many shakes do you get a day? Three a day. Thank three you. a day. Four or five, depending on the program that you choose. Okay. Right. So I'm just going to mix this up. Really quick there. And it was just water? Just water. Mm -hmm. Eight ounces of water. And then we have frozen fruit, which you can use ice if you want, but we okay. have frozen fruit in place I of ice. I love fresh fruit. Does it no. matter what kind of fruit? Does not matter. Nope. We have a mix there, so. Yeah, I see some mango, pineapple, strawberry. Yeah, peaches. very good. Mm -hmm. So let's mix it up for you again. I would eat that. Did you try it? Oh, I was, I was into the shape. <laughs> so we like to blend it for a while um, when we're making them so they get thicker and they get more volume because mm -hmm. that's the key. Looking for weight loss, you want low calorie but lots of volume so it's filling. Um, so, but but does still get the idea of it with the taste? Yeah, it looks fantastic. So let me pour some out for you to try. And I mean a baked potato with chili on top, it is like game day food. It, it is. is. We actually have our patients that do that. They do that so that they, they do that exactly. to resist cheating with the game day spread. Mm -hmm. It's yes. flavorful. Okay, let's That's try good. This. It's very it rare is. when you find something in a package to have flavor. I know. It makes it so much easier so to eat. Oh. Since I cook, I well, can this would be great for breakfast. Something. Yes. They love it. Yep. We love it. Quick, easy. You can actually even make them the night before if you want to be okay. quiet in the morning. So there's no excuse of eating healthy even I if you know. work a lot. That's right. These cook in what, like, like one, one minute? minute? One minute. Yeah. What's the, what's the calorie count per day? So we're looking, so it depends on the diet. We have diet options that are 500 calories, 800 calories, or 1,200 calories. Wow. But they're completely nutritionally balanced. Okay. So you're getting all the nutrients you need. So that's not something you would want to do if you were not supervised. 
right. to go Correct. to that low Correct. of a calorie Correct. count. Correct. Yes. Correct. All right, and if yep. people want to learn more, Bell in Health? Yes. Is the place to go? Yep. It is. All right, ladies, thank you so Thanks much. Thank you yes. Get a thumbs up from me. How about you? It's good. I love it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you, you so you. much. Thank you. Oh, and coming up, now we're going to get fit. So we're getting healthy with our food and nutrition. <laughs> we are working out in here, and we're going <laughs> to we're going to do a little air boxing, a little Tabata exercise. We'll explain more coming up on The Better Half. Welcome back to The Better Half, and to be better, we like to be fit, right ladies? Yes. <laughs> well, we know that <laughs> Heaven is always sharing her, her fitness um, ideas and workouts on social media, but we're going to give you some ideas today, thanks to Ashley Haig from Ellipse Fitness in Milwaukee's historic Third Ward. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Thanks for having me. So Tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> Well, I am a personal trainer, also a fitness coach. I'm a certified nutrition specialist. I could probably bore you to tears with all the other credentials. We're already <laughs> impressed. <laughs> we won't go through all that. But So I own Ellipse Fitness in the Third Ward, and then I also run a social hub of all things having to do with fashion, fitness, nutrition, lifestyle, travel, all sorts of stuff. And awesome. All the things oh, ladies cool. want to know about, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And she's here to help us keep fit during the holidays. Thank you. <laughs> it's definitely like it. the time that people gain the most amount of weight. So I always like to say, let's maintain, not gain. Yeah, right? I like let's that. do it. Yeah. Are you ready? Like you're I'm ready. If you're doing Do something it. good. Like you're not right. getting worse. You know. Right. Anything. Exactly. Well, and at this time of year, everybody's so busy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I always love when people are like, "Well, I don't have time for this." Well, you make time for it. It's like a doctor's appointment or any other mm -hmm. appointment. You don't miss it. Um, but at the same time, you don't have to have an all or none attitude. Let's just do twice a week, getting in a really good 30-minute workout, which we're going to kind of go over one of those and today. And you can you can moderate it to fit your health needs. Absolutely. Like you said, some people can't do certain things. But here's the truth. Right. So we even say like I got you guys to work out seven times a week. If your diet stinks, you're not going to see the results you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So what we like to, what I like to do okay. is this is the time. I know, I know. Yeah. All the, and I'm watching all of the food segments too. You and know, I with, like to eat. You know? I'm with heaven. <laughs> She works out so she can eat. So I can eat. So but I can you know stay. what? I'm a foodie too. So here's mm -hmm. the thing that you have to think of is, I mean, I go to galas and to events and all sorts of stuff. So try to make those your cheats. So really right. three cheats a week. That's don't look point. back. Don't have regret. Enjoy it. Drink. Choose eat. Choose them wise. Yes. Yeah. yes. Literally take your calendar and look at your week and circle those events and have fun and don't look back. Don't even feel guilty about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. You want to show us some moves? Sounds yeah, good. absolutely. Right. Sure thing. What We're we ready. We're going to do a little air boxing. I love air boxing because, man, talk about some sexy muscle tone. Okay. But also, it's going to get your heart rate up. <laughs> um, and we're going to actually do this more of a Tabata style. So 20 okay. seconds, max effort as hard as you can, okay. 10 seconds off, repeat it eight times, then move to a new exercise. Okay? All okay. right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to start off with a jab cross. So let's go into our right lead. Okay, so we're gonna do a jab, cross, slow, and then shuffle back. Okay, okay. so jab, jab cross, cross shuffle, shuffle, back. shuffle back. Jab, jab cross, cross, shuffle back. All right, now we're gonna go into a little faster if you want to. Feel free to stay here. So jab, cross, shuffle back. Jab, cross, shuffle back. I always have this habit of breathing when I do these. Hey, so me too. <laughs> yeah, don't want you guys to pass out on me. Okay? And we would do that for 20 seconds? Exactly. Okay. So we would do this 20 seconds on max efficiency. Ooh, yes. okay. You can add to it as hard as, you um, as hard as you can. Exactly. Okay. 10 seconds to complete rest. Repeat. By round number four, the first two rounds in Tabata always feel pretty easy. The then you get bad, around yeah. three. Yeah, yes. you know. You're like, oh my God. Okay. You get to round three or four and you're like, oh. It's the longest done. 20 seconds ever. It really is. Yeah. yeah. That's why I, I always trainer. love those signs that say, <laughs> you gotta push me. If you think 20 seconds is fast, you've never tried planking, burpees, all yeah. the time. So. <laughs> okay, that is so true. <laughs> Let's yeah. do another one. Okay. Awesome. Right. So we're going to now do, we're going to stand more forward. We're going to step forward with our right and punch with our right and then go into a jack and then switch to our left, okay? okay. So we're going to punch, jack, punch, jack. Now we're going to speed it up. Here we go. Good job, ladies. Yeah. Just so I can eat some more food later <laughs> in the show. Exactly. <laughs> and if you feel right. like you can't do it, are there modifications? Absolutely. I mean, People tell me all the time they can't work out or can't do everything. I mean, squats, that's a big example. Right. So I always tease people. I'm like, don't you go to the bathroom every day? <laughs> you squat. You're squatting. Every day. That is a great point. Especially in public because <laughs> so, you always make sure. Or yes. a quarter potty squat. That's what I call it. 
Absolutely. not, you know? So anyway, so you have to think in terms like that, but you can always do stuff, just take it a little easier. So on a jack, you know, you just do a step out. You don't have to do these big, huge movements. Moving burns calories, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. so you have to think about things like yeah. that. Ashley, so. you mentioned that you talk about fit, uh, fashion. Yes. Yeah. As part of your social web. <laughs> oh yeah, love it. What's I'm your favorite? Dallas, Fort Worth What's your favorite? Um, so I, well, I'm a jeans girl because you can dress up denim, you can make it casual. I love all the ripped up jeans right yes. now. Mm -hmm. I did have someone come up to me the other day, do you need some money for those ripped I'm like, that's all fashion right now. Yes. <laughs> but those are workout clothes. Workout clothes for me, I mean, they're my business suits. I right. live yep. in my gym. But so. if you look good, you feel good. Absolutely. Like me, Confidence is everything. My motivation is putting on my matching outfits. Yeah. And you, and you feel, you feel good. You feel better. Yeah. So yeah. some of my favorites are, I mean, obviously Lululemon's out there it's right. big it's great um, I really do like um, wantable has a collection box they're based out of Milwaukee um, so they send you some fashion finds um, and they do have a fitness one as well oh, which is really cool I mean and I've even gotten some stuff I'll wear with boots and sweaters oh, cool. um, Victoria's Secret sport cute. line yeah, oh my gosh do. I walk in there and I have to <laughs> like hide my credit card because <laughs> yeah. I want to buy everything. And if we want to know stuff. more, how can we follow you? So um, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. All of it can be found um, with using Fashionably Fit. The Ash is my name in Fashionably. So um, yeah, find Ashley me. Ashley Haig, thank you so yeah. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Great ideas. Happy holidays Thank to you. you. Same now too. we're going to eat. We make Friday our cheat <laughs> day. <laughs> we get a couple of cheat days and we're going to do it. Now we're making meatball sub Cupcakes. That's next. We're eating, then we're working out, then we're eating again. It's Perfect. all about balance today. <laughs> exactly. Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council has another meatball recipe for us. Angie? Yes. In a cupcake? Yes. <laughs> it's kind of different. It sounds uh, weird when you hear it. Not gonna lie. I you know say it does. Meatball cupcakes. Like, but oh, they're okay. fun. They're handheld, and okay. kids will love them. Even adults love them. Um, they've got Super easy ingredients. Uh, they take about less than 30 minutes. They're cool. So yeah, they're they're fun. So we're gonna start with. So it's not about it's about the shape of them. They're right. Called a cupcake. It's yeah. not like we have sprinkles on them or anything. No. no. Anything sweet. <laughs> shredded <laughs> cheddar <laughs> or sprinkles or shredded mozzarella. Okay. No, we just make them in a cupcake pan. So we start with a tube of crescent rolls, and I rolled that out and kind of pinched the seams together so it, the the dough is not in triangles anymore. And then I'm going to cut it into 12 squares, and we're going to use that as the base of our cupcake, cupcake in our cupcake pan. Okay. So I'm just going to cut. Is there anything I can do while you're doing this that? In the fours, yes. While I'm doing this, we're going to mix um, half of a, so four ounces of cream cheese. Okay. Either the regular or the light cream cheese. Half a cup of shredded mozzarella. Gotta have cheese and about three quarters of a teaspoon of just a dried Italian seasoning. It's easy so far. Okay, Rachel, do you want to hand me the muffin pan? You know it. And I can do Is this. it already sprayed? It's sprayed. Okay. And I, let, I left the cream cheese out about a half an hour just to have it soften up so you could work with it. Yeah. And I don't, I don't even form the crescent rolls into a to Any a circle? Mm -hmm. Nope, I just put these squares in because then the corners kind of come up and it and looks really cute. nice. it's cute. Really cute. These are kind of like mini pizzas. Yes, they have that and flavor. And that's my favorite food, so like I'm, I'm sold already. Perfect. Now this recipe um, does not call for a homemade meatball. It calls okay. for the frozen uh, beef meatballs that you can find right in any 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 store. Well, that makes it even easier. Right. Now you can make these with a homemade meatball, but I did that and you need to cook the meatballs ahead. So if you have a favorite okay. meatball recipe, cook them ahead. You don't want them hot? Is that what you mean? You want them, um, if you put them in raw, they get too juicy. Oh, and they then cook them bread. Ahead. Yeah, gotcha. and then the crescent roll doesn't, doesn't cook up. It's kind of a juicy mess. They still taste good, but it's a juicy mess. <laughs> so, okay, there is that. You can put about one tablespoon into each Would cup. No, about half of that much. Okay. Yeah, perfect. And then after we get that in, we'll top with the meatball. And then I've got the oven preheated to 375 degrees, and the meatballs are fully cooked. So you just need to uh, bake these long enough to cook the crescent roll. So about 15, 16, 17 minutes. And the meatball just goes right on top of meatball that dollop of right cheese? Meatball goes right on top on the cheese. <laughs> 
You're doing it's like great. a good appetizer. You're, you're yes. I'm gonna put half of this one in there. Oh, okay. There we go. There's yeah. a short one. <laughs> and this would be super easy to double or triple. Okay. This is something you can make like like again appetizer or before a game or anything like that. Oops, Did sorry. I have an extra spoon? So then about one tablespoon of just jarred marinara. Nice. Or, or you get pizza frozen sauce. meatballs, the jarred mm -hmm. marinara. I mean, you could do it all hand homemade if you had your own. You know, some people can their sauce and have it yeah. ready to go. That's still easy. Uh, or yeah, if you're making, if you have leftover sauce, mm -hmm. you could whip these up and use that. I, whenever I make pizza, uh, spaghetti, I seem to always and then make. sprinkle that on top. Sprinkle some shredded mozzarella on top, and then a 375 degree oven about 15, 16, 17 minutes till your crescent rolls look done. These are nice easy. Nice and golden brown. <clears throat> They're really good. Super are those easy. edible? Can I yes, try one Yes, they of are. All right, and where do you get your recipes from? Well, actually, this one I borrowed from Pinterest. Oh, I did, but uh, Pinterest usually. Pinterest is awesome, though. I know, it is. Uh, mm. I, I get on there, though, You're and I forget what I was looking for because <laughs> I get sidetracked. Mm. But I, I saw it used all beef meatballs, yep. so I'm like, heck, we can do I that. I love it. And, um, well, Otherwise, mm. beeftips.com mm -hmm. is all of our Wisconsin Beef mm -hmm. Council recipes, nutrition information on our recipes, and cooking tips, too. Thanks, yeah. Angie. It's delicious. It's we'll good. get the other girls over here, and we'll give it another try. We'll be right back. The Better Half Beverages provided by Quick Trip, home of Cafe Karuba Coffee and Nature's Touch. The Better Half is presented statewide by Quick Trip, now offering premium fresh meats. Quick Trip, big on fresh meats, low on price. Here's to the Daily Navigator, the hard charger of a thousand tasks. At Quick Trip, we're dedicated to bringing you good fresh food without a middleman's markup, just steps from your car. Delivered daily, so it's always fresh, always low priced, always in a jiffy. For a limited time, pick up a pound of Nature's Touch Butter for $2.99 or a dozen grade A large eggs for $1.59. Quick trip, big on fresh, low on price. Look, I'm not a doctor. What I am is a husband and a father. And just like every man who has loved ones, there are things I have to do to protect my family, beginning with protecting my health. Because if I don't, I could put everything, including my life and my family's future, at risk. Visit realmendon'twait.com to learn what you can do. Because this is your life, and people are depending on you. Welcome to Bell & Health. Better have that. This year, Quick Trip wants to send you to Las Vegas. And we're, we're going, going to. to. Hope to see you in Las Vegas. Don't miss your chance to win a trip to Las Vegas with your favorite Better Half hosts. Compliments of Quick Trip. Prize includes airfare, hotel, gift card, spot treatment with the wives, and more. To enter, text HALF to 77887. Message and data rates apply. Enter today so we can see you in Las Vegas. For official rules, visit quicktrip.com. Get ready, get set, and save with an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. This Conway Chrome Finish Bath Faucet from Moen is only $69 after rebate. A Verese Brushed Nickel Finish Faucet is just $84 after rebate. Save big on this H2O Kinetics 5 Function Chrome Finish Shower Head by Delta. Featuring a soothing wave pattern spray, just $34 after rebate. Get everything you need with an 11% rebate going on now. Well, that was fun and very tasty. Ladies, yes. you should try I'm ready for one. They're Dude, really yummy. No need for a plate. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> I don't even think you need a plate. You want nope, a plate you don't here? Need a plate. No, no need for no. a plate. It's like finger food. I mean, it it's is. just great. I'll yeah, probably make these. It's like a mini pizza. 
See, yeah, and I'll probably oh. make it when my family comes. That's honestly. delicious. That's good. Mm -hmm. They love it. It was easy. It was quick. Mm -hmm. Great job, ladies. Well, thank yeah. you. I did nothing but eat it. Heaven, especially you. Yeah, in the kitchen. <laughs> Heaven's going to be cooking no for sweat. all of us. Well, have fun at the game. Mm -hmm. I might crash your tailgate parties. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Absolutely. Invitation. Mm -hmm. And now that we've eaten, we're all ready for working out, right? Uh, <laughs> after a few more. <laughs> 30 minutes. And we hope to oh, see you next it. time on The Better Half. Have a great weekend.